We're now in Party City. Hopefully we can find an ID in here. Who knows? Maybe we find a costume. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's King Ted's Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the phase adapt kind of uh, tag location lower third effect kind of thing. And if you guys haven't been watching their videos, I mean, I haven't really been following their videos, but a lot of you guys have wanted me to request this video, so I decided why not. So. Uh, right here is the actual video that I want to show you guys and if I go ahead and push play It's around here. I think you already saw it So right here in the bottom left corner of the video a little tag just you know animates in and then it animates out Just showing where they are in that time and place during the vlog. All right guys So today is my birthday. I finally turned 19, which is awesome um, it is the 25th of October or depending on when you're watching this, but most likely you're watching this on a Wednesday, which is, you know, my birthday, which is awesome. So, um, thank you guys for sticking around and everything. You guys are the best subscribers in the whole entire world. So, uh, let's go ahead and look at what we have. So right here we have, um, Austin from the Ace family. I did take a small portion of their video from a vlog and I'll have everything linked down in the description so you guys can follow along with the tutorial as I, uh, go through the steps and everything. So right here you can see the tag. Um, they are currently in Party City um, from what Austin has said and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this really small clip in the beginning of this tutorial. But let me go and show you guys one more time what it is. We're now in Party City. Hopefully we can find an ID in here. Who knows? Maybe we find a costume. So that right there was that little tag, little uh, and kind of like a tag animation he's just talking right and then he mentions he's in party city so if you're going to be using this in a vlog and you're going to be you know going to different places or different locations it might be kind of you know nice to add a little a little animated thing to keep the viewer watching so to do this is very simple so i actually created a, a little lower third a little location tag in photoshop because i couldn't find anything that was related so i'm pretty sure they've created this by hand and i did too i've created it for you guys because I'm nice that way. So um, the download link will be down in the description. So download this one, location tag king. Um, mine says two, but I messed up. So this is my second time doing it. So uh, I'll go ahead and cut that out and delete it. Um, yours will probably not look like this. It's because I have it in a compounds clip. From here, you're going to have the location tag. Just go to the transform option here and just click on any of the corners and just drag that down. Kind of drag it down and find a nice location. You also want to go ahead and zoom out of your canvas or your little project window here and kind of choose a nice spot where you want it to appear. Okay. Now you're going to, you're not going to have it there. Okay. So right where the time head is, you want to move that to the very beginning of the clip. That's where we're going to add our first keyframe. So right here is where we're going to place it, right? But we want it there. We don't want to start it there. We actually want to start it out of the frame. So it would make sense, right? Because we want it to come in into the video. So from here, now you can go ahead and add a keyframe with the location tag selected. So click on the, um, before you actually do that, before you do that, you want to go and add your text first because this will be very useful. So go to the text and go to custom. So go to custom, drag that on top of your clip. This is very important that you do this all in one step because if you don't and you do everything else individually, it will be a pain in the ass. So delete that and you're going to have custom. So this is custom right here and we have the tag right there, right? So we want to go ahead and change the text. So select the text that you added on top, go to the inspector window and in the inspector window, you're going to have the text, right? So just change it. You can also change it here. What I like to do is I just like to go and actually I'm going to move this back up so I know where this is going to be. So click done and I'm going to go to the text and I'm going to change it. So I'm going to say He's in Purdy City, like that. And then they change, I'm not sure what font they use. I think it's Helvetica, regular. If you guys have a similar font that you guys have found that they used, be sure to use that, that'd be nice. But I'm not gonna go ahead and you know copy everything. So go to the color and drag this slider all the way to the, to the black side, which will turn the text black. And then drag the text to the, uh, to the actual tag location or the little animated picture. So once you're done with that, go to the size and just make this smaller and drag this so it's kind of perfectly aligned in the middle. Nothing's more annoying than having it not centered correctly. So if we zoom in or kind of make it to fit, this is what it will look like, right? But now we got to animate it. So before you do anything else, you want to go ahead and make a compound clip so that they both move 
at the same time together. If not, and you do it individually, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. So right click, go to new compounds clip or option G. I'm just gonna name it tag and click okay. So now it's all in one clip. So you can move it, you can literally, and when I mean literally, you can move everything, which is nice. So now all we have to do is just animate it. So go and click on the transform option, zoom out of your time or your little window here, drag this down as, try to keep it as straight as you can. And then, then all you gotta do is click the plus icon to add your first keyframe. Then on your keyboard, on the right arrow key, you wanna go five frames to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, or six. We're at six frames at our first keyframe. So now we're gonna drag this back up. Let's see if we did that right. Yep, we did. So we added our first keyframe. You know you did it right when you see a little red arrow with, or the red line with the arrow pointing up. So it goes up. So now if I click off of it, or command enter, and I push play. It's gonna zoom in just like that, which is what you want. Now, of course, you don't want this to stay on the whole entire video, because that's pointless. We want it to go back out. So it goes in, and then from here, all you're gonna do is make it go away from, I don't know, like around here. So you're gonna have to cut this video, so or the clip. So go to the blade, cut it, I don't know, like right here, it's gonna go like that, and then it's gonna go back down, okay? So go to the very start and then go to the transform option and you can see that there is a um, another little plus icon there. So it reset the position, okay? So it's gonna move a little bit. You guys can change it if you want. Um, I really don't know any other easier way of doing this unless you guys have found a way to do this, please let me know. But that will get rid of the keyframes because we don't want it to constantly keep going or else it's gonna go up and down very quickly and that's not gonna look good at all. So go back to the transform option. Now we shouldn't have that red line, which is right, we're doing it correctly now. So go six frames into the video. So press uh, the right arrow key six times or five times, depending on how many times you want. So once you're at this spot, uh, you've cut the video right here and you wanna move it back down. You don't want the red arrow, right, pointing up. So now we're gonna go ahead and Add a keyframe, go six frames forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you wanna go ahead and uh, drag this down. And you can see that you're doing it right when you see the arrow again, but this time it's pointing down. So that means you're doing it right. So click done. And then now if you go back, you should see that it goes back down. This can be very tricky if you don't really, if you're not really familiar with keyframes, but it shouldn't be that hard. Um, if you guys do need help, I'll be more than happy to reply to your comments. Um, it looks easy like on video, but actually doing it, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it it's, it's, it's doable. All right guys, so once you are done and you have the message enabled, this is what you should get. Now in Party City, hopefully we can find an ID in here. Who knows, maybe we find a costume. Which is awesome guys. So if you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like, comment down, below for any other video ideas. Turn on the bell notification to receive um, whenever I post videos. Subscribe and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.